This is gonna be a comprehensive review of this $1,500 electric skateboard versus this $449 skateboard. Let's begin by comparing hardware. Before I go outside for some practical tests of these boards, I just want to go over some of the technical specifications. Looking at their websites, they're super, super similar. So the Juice board says it goes 20 miles an hour. Boosted board says it goes 22 miles an hour. This thing says it has a seven mile range. Boosted says it has a six to seven mile range. Regenerative braking, dual motors, regenerative braking, dual motors. Honestly, even the Juice website looks like the Boosted Board website, but from like a side-by-side -side spec analysis, they seem to be very, or at least advertised as very, very similar. I did want to do a flex test. All right, this is the flex test on the $1,500 Boosted Board, 100% bamboo deck. Look at that flex. Good flex. And this is the flex on the, um, it's actually 449 is for the cheap one, 599 is for the dual motor version of the juice. So I, I take back what I said, this is a $599 board, not a $499 board. All right, this is the flex test on the um, bamboo and maple juice board. Right, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it can't flex as much that it hits this battery and it's, it does feel more rigid, but it flexes a lot more than I had expected it to. So, what, Sam, go outside now, right? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna have Sam carry the extra board because, well, he offered to and you're cool with that, right? Yeah, it's all right. If you're wondering why we're carrying the juice board, it's cause like, I wanna ride it for the first time on camera and in New York City we gotta make sure we're somewhere where we can like ride safely where there's not too many people. We're gonna carry it to a safe, less crowded part of the city, test it there. All right, so now we're deep, deep on Manhattan's west side. There's like some kind of thuggish looking dudes over there that are smoking pot. I'm not gonna film them, they look a little scary. Over here we've got the UPS Fulfillment Center. This is a good place to test the boards. Those are the guys smoking pot. All right, this is it. This is the first powering up of the juice board. Great, turned on fine, no problem. All right. Well, I'll tell you this much, it's a lot quieter than the boosted board. Start off with the speed test. Yeah. Acceleration test. Yeah. A uh, very important detail here, NYPD, this is chalk. It washes away with water. This is not vandalism because this is temporary. Please don't show up at my house or office or try to arrest me again. Okay, that's gonna be our starting line there. I'm on the juice board, that's the boosted board. Ready? Yep. One, One two, two, three. Okay, uh, well this is the initial ride of the juice board and acceleration, not great.
What'd that look like from your perspective? I didn't even see you. You were gone in half a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next test is gonna be the high speed, the top speed test. How do we even do this? I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Sam's gonna try and keep up. Now I'm on the juiced board. I'm on the cheap board, the $449 board. So that's been 10 seconds. This is probably top speed. Come on, man. When it comes to top speed tests, again, the um, juice board was absolutely creamed by the boosted board. Now this next test, this is going to be the braking test. How quickly they stop. My chalk line, which is right here, which is washable chalk, not vandalism. Remember that, it's not vandalism. This chalk line right here, we're gonna start all the way down there at that truck, come full speed to the line here, and then hit the brakes as soon as we hit this line and see how far past the line we go before we stop. Three, two, one, go. Brakes. All right, so we did that test five times and quite frankly, the brakes on this aren't that bad. Like, boosted board definitely stopped so windy. Stopped more aggressively and more effectively, but it's not like the acceleration test. Like, I would say that stops in about 15 feet of less distance than this stops. Kind of amazing. This kid just came up on a boosted board. Yo, what's your name? What's Casey? Hey. How long have you been riding your boosted board? I uh, had it since day one. Try out this juice board. Just like take it up and down the street. Let me know your honest thoughts compared to the boosted board. All right. Cool? All right, so this is the uh, unbiased stranger we met in the street who's a uh, veteran boosted board rider test. I think that like, what's the nice about the booster board, you can go in reverse. This, uh, you can't really do that. Um, and I think like, getting on like those little edges when you're turning, the booster is just like super smooth like this. I feel like I kind of like went out of it, like drifted a little bit. The verdict here is that... I would say that the booster board is better, but I would say it's not a bad board. You don't think it's bad? No, not at all. Okay, thank you for your help. Yeah, man, no problem. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. I promised Sam I'd buy him a smoothie if he helped me with this video. It's so, a fair trade. All right, so the conclusion from the uh, test in the real world is that it's not as bad as I expected, but it's nowhere near as good as this. But for 500 bucks, you're getting a pretty good board. This isn't garbage. It's not garbage. I would not call it pretty good, though. <laughs> in conclusion, this thing works. It's fine, I guess. It is impressive that they're able to do it for such a low price, but just know one thing. This is not a boosted board. This is a cheap knockoff of a boosted board. This, this is a toy. And if you're fine buying a toy, then it's a good value for a toy. But it's a little bit like wanting a high performance sports car, like wanting a Ferrari, boosted board being the Ferrari. Instead of getting a Ferrari, you get a used old Hyundai. Used old Hyundai's fine. It might even get you from A to B. But if you want a high, if you want a Ferrari, don't buy a Hyundai and then paint a dramatically similar logo to the Ferrari on the side and expect that cheap knockoff to perform like a Ferrari. Also, um, I crashed my new Spark drone into a tree and it fell 20 Dude, feet. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Sam Sheffer. <sighs> crashed onto the concrete and it didn't break. That's youtube.com forward slash Sam Sheffer. Nice work, DJI. <laughs>